Welcome everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over our learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to utilize diagnostic assessments to determine your learning gaps and assess the areas you need to improve, how to convert decimal values, including repeating decimals to fractions, and how to convert fraction values to decimals. How are we learning it? Through the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment, the Decimals and Fractions Notes, and the Decimals and Fractions Assignment. When can you use the information in this lesson? To improve your mathematical skills by analyzing your existing learning gaps, and how to organize budgets, use relative numbers to split checks, and determine the cost of sale items. How do we know we learned it? By getting a score of 4 on the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment, and a 4 on the Decimals and Fractions assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We'll begin by going over our learning goals and success criteria. After that, you'll have time to complete the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment. With about 10 minutes left of class, we'll go over the decimals and fractions assignment. At the end of class, we'll go over the learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your only homework for tonight is to complete the Reasoning with Rational Numbers study guide and any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's take a look now at the decimals and fractions notes. Our notes begin with the learning goals and success criteria. Let's take a look first at fractions. So think of fractions always as division. So therefore, one half is the same thing as one divided by two. So if we wanted to divide this, we would just put it into our calculator and divide one divided by two and we get 0.5. We could also use long division to find the decimal value. So we could say 1 divided by 2. So I put this as 1.0 because I know that 2 can't go into 1, so I know I'm going to have to include a decimal point here. So now I take this and say, what, how many times does 2 go into 10? Well, it goes into it 5 times. So this is 0 0.5. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 to minus 10 is 0, so there's no remainder, so it's just 0 0.5. So I can use long division, or I can use a calculator to help me as well. Now, how do we convert from fractions to decimals with repeating decimals? So again, think of, think of fractions as division, so therefore one-third. That's the same thing as 1 divided by 3. When I put it into my calculator, I get 0 0.3 repeating. Now we could also use long division to figure this out. So I put this in as one divided by three, and I know that three can't go into one, so I know it's gonna be 1.0. So I just add that decimal point. So now how many times does three go into 10? Well, it goes into it three times. And then three times three is nine, which leaves one as my remainder. 3 doesn't go into 1, so I bring down another 0. 3 goes into 10 3 times, which gives me 9 again, and then 1 remainder. And if I notice, I keep getting 1 as a remainder, so it just keeps repeating itself. So I just keep putting 3, 3, 3, 3. So therefore, I notice that the remainder is always the same. Therefore, it's a repeating decimal, so it becomes 0 0.3 repeat. Now, how do I work with decimals? Okay, think of decimals as fractions over some denomination of 10. For instance, 0 0.5 is the same thing as 5 over 10. Now, for every number after the decimal point, I include a 0. So it's 1 and then 1, 0 because there's one value. So it's 5 over 10, which in this case simplifies to 1 half. So for every one digit that is included after the decimal point, add one zero to the denominator after the one. So there's one number after the decimal point, so I know I'm gonna have one zero. So my denominator would be 10. And then I place this digit over the denominator, so it'd be five over 10. So look at it here, we have 0 0.13 and we're saying that that's the same thing as 13 over 100. So for every number after the decimal point we include that many zeros. 
So in this case, there are two numbers. So there's two digits there. Therefore, our denominator will contain two zeros after the one. So it'll be one zero zero, which is 100. Then we place this value over the top. So it's 13 over 100. Now, what happens if we have repeating decimals? Well, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you right now that, therefore, 0 0.5 repeat is the same thing as 5 over 9. Now, how do we get there? So for every one digit that is included after the decimal point and is repeating, we add 1 9 to the denominator. So in this case, there is one val digit after the decimal point that is repeating. So we're going to include 1 9. So it would be 5 over 9. Now for this one, we have 0 0.03 repeat, which I'm telling you is the same thing as 3 over 90. Now here's how this works. So for every digit that is repeating, we include a 9. For every digit that's not repeating, we include a 0, right? Just like we did before. So in this case, we have one digit repeating. So we're going to include a 9. And we have one digit that is not repeating. So therefore, we're going to include a 0. So it becomes 9 and then 0. And then we just keep whatever's here. So that's 3. So that becomes 3 over 90. Now this one here says 0 0.033 repeat. So what this should end up being is 33 over 990. So let's use our rule again. So for every digit that is repeating, we include a 9. For every digit that's not repeating, we include a 0. So in this case, we have two digits repeating. So that should be 2 9, so 9 9. And there is one digit that is not repeating, so it should be 1, 0. So it should be 990. And then we just keep the numerator here. And then we just keep this value here, 33. And that becomes my numerator. So this is 33 over 990. Now we have 0 0.003 repeat. And I'm telling you that that's, the, that that's equal to 3 over 900. So again, for every digit that's repeating, we include a 9. For every digit that's not repeating, we include a 0 at the end. So in this case, we have one digit that's repeating. So we're going to include one 9. And we have two digits that are not repeating. Therefore, we should have two zeros. So we should end up being 900. Then we just keep the, whatever the value is. In this case, it's 3. So it's 3 over 900. Now, what if this value here, the non-repeating, what if that value is not a 0? So we have 0 0.43 repeat. And I'm telling you that that's the same thing as 4 over 10 plus 3 over 90. So we're going to treat this as being separated from each other. So 0.4 is 4 over 10. And this is really 0 0.03 because we've already included this 0.4. So this will be 0 0.03 repeat. So we use our rules here to get 4 over 10 for the first part. And we use our rules for this to get 3 over 90. And then we just add those by finding a common denominator. So if not all the digits are repeating, add 1, 9 for every digit that repeats and 1, 0 for every non-repeating digit, just like here. So that's one digit. So that becomes a 9. This is not repeating. So we end up with 3 over 90 and 4 over 10. If we multiply both top and bottom here by 9, we get 36 over 90. Well, 36 plus 3 is 39. And 90 is just the denominator, so it's 39 over 90. So that's your notes on decimals and fractions. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment, and it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this. 
and right here where it says sign in with Google we're gonna click there and it's gonna pop up with our email accounts you're gonna click on your school email account and it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom from there I'm just gonna click start the activity and it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin so that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's take a look now at the decimals and fractions assignment. Our assignment begins with our learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here to go to the Desmos activity. If we click on that link, it takes us to a page that looks like this. Go ahead and click start the activity. Our activity begins with the learning goals and success criteria as well. We'll go ahead and click next. And we're given a series of fractions and asked to write them as decimals. So one half is our first one. So one half, if we were to write that as a fraction, we know that that's 0 0.5 and so on. So we'll go ahead and fill all these in. It says that you can use a calculator if you need to or use long division. Okay, so you'll go ahead and answer each of these. Then you go ahead and click next. It gives you more to answer, so you're going to go ahead and continue this on all the way up through 1 17th. And then we'll click next again. Now, for this next one, it gives us 0 0.8 repeat, and it wants us to write this as a fraction. Now, using our rules for every digit that does not repeat, we add a 0, and for every digit that does repeat, we add a 9. So we know that 8 is going to be our numerator over, and we know that there's only one digit and it repeats, so it's going to be 8 over 9. Now for this one, we have 0, 0.0 repeating 8. So we know that we're going to have 8 as our numerator over, and in this case, we have one digit that repeats and one digit that does not repeat. So the one that repeats goes first, so that's 9. And the digit that doesn't repeat goes next, which is 0. And notice, we can see that they, it holds up, right? We have 0 0.08 repeat and 0 0.8 repeat. So we can see that we've, we're doing it correctly. And we'll do that for each of these. Then we'll go ahead and click Next. This will give us more examples. So we'll go ahead and answer each of these using our rules. And then when we're done, we'll go back to our Google form and click next. This will take you to your before you go. Go ahead and fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom.